Ye mata chop hot. Assemble diloto. Hey, aye. Yes, we are back again on your airwaves. And my name is Roland Amati. This is Roland Report. And you know when we sit like this, then information, authentic information, as in with regards to our entertainment and social issues, is about to hit you. Yeah, we give you nothing but credible information and also insight. And you know, as usual, I don't do this alone. I do this with you. So wherever you're watching us from or wherever you're doing the listening from, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this content with other people. Let them also enjoy the beautiful things that you are enjoying. Let me hear from you. The comment section is definitely designed for you. But hey, make sure you follow the YouTube community guidelines. Here, we don't do insults. Here, we don't. We don't do chastising. We don't run people's brand down. So, yes, in that sense, you can share your view in any of the comment sessions that we discuss on this particular platform. D Black is in the news. Castro is in the news. Chatterhouse is also in the news. But before we enter into that, let me also remind you that this particular edition is sponsored by Ghana's number one ride hailing app, Shagzi. Go on your Google Play Store or your App Store. Download the app. Key in your details, register, and as a rider, you stand a chance of enjoying the most affordable rides on the market. And also as a driver, whenever you sign up, you just have to key in 20 Ghana CDs and any other thing that you enjoy or any other profits that you make is all yours. You don't pay any commission into it. So without wasting much time, let's enter straight into the reason why we are here today. My name is Roland Amati. Stick at stay. Yes, so entering into the main issue, let me first say big ups to D Black. Yes, his Uncut Show has been bringing lots and lots of conversation, and I must say, yes, that's one of the most beautiful shows that I enjoyed recently on the internet with regards to education, information, as well as some insightful discussions as as far as bringing industry players on the platform to discuss their issues and also projections is concerned. And let me say big ups to our very own D Black, who is a musician, a businessman, and doubles now as a podcaster and, and all of that. So big ups to him. Yeah, so like I said, D Black is in the news, Castro is in the news, as well as Chatterhouse is in the news. Not long ago, the Ghana Music Awards came, now the TGMA, that is the Telesel Ghana Music Awards came, released its nominations or its nominees as, as part of this year's Ghana Music Awards. Yes, they, they released their nominees, of which so many people are excited. Others are also bleeding. Others also have problems, including people who are even nominated at a point all had their problems with regards to nominations and how they went. TGMA or the Ghana Music Awards scheme released a one-week window of which they were accepting um, people who would want to do any form of corrections, objections, and even concerns with regards to how the scheme is going and even nominations of which so many people filed their petition, which Amrado and Slim Kid all have their issues resolved with the scheme. Now, on this particular video that I chanced on D Black's Enjoyment Radio, that is on, on YouTube, I mean, the full interview is there, like I said earlier, or that you can equally enjoy. He made a certain revelation that caught my attention. That Castro's menamnamitete. I don't know if you know that feature between Castro and D Black that has to do with menamnamitete, metete, 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 of which the song, Anka Sanka Sanka Sanka, the title of the song is Seho. D Black, as part of his introduction or his, his like his performances, when it comes to that introductory song that D Black's always D Black always enters with, it is Seho. Seho Seho. So apparently, according to D Black, that particular song was a diss to Shatterhouse. That particular song was a diss. To the Ghana Music Awards scheme. Who would have thought? Well, he made that revelation when he was having a conversation with KOD, Andy Dusty, Pryor, and, and all of them people 
when he was hosting his his, pod, his podcast as far as the enjoyment radio or the uncut show is concerned. Let's go take a quick listen to how D Black said it, what he meant by that, or even the explanation he gave to it. When we come back, we have a conversation. How how do you but there's feel something about Seho, Se- you know? Charlie yeah, Seho, but that's, that's, how, that's how I start now. shows, though. Seho. I start a lot of shows oh, with Seho. Person. When you hear, boop, boop, boop. I, I know. know. It's about to go down. Yeah. And you know the funny thing about Seho? Breezy produced it in my house. Yeah. That beat was in that house for about a year. No one he played it for me. I said I didn't like it. Becca came to the house to record. He listened to the beat. He didn't like it. Joey B. Heard it. I didn't like it. VIP came to do um, selfie. When they when it became VVIP. Mm. Mm. Usana. No, with Reggie. He didn't like it. EL came. EL didn't like it. Reggie and VIP too didn't like it. Castro came. He heard it that day. He said, oh, I want to do some small freestyle for top. And that Break was out. it. So then he starts. And you know what he's freestyling about? He's he never writes any song. He's yeah. dissing dis- dis- Chatterhouse. Castro has never written anything. Oh, he was dissing Chatterhouse. Because he, 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 there was an award... From the VJ means that I just ended. He had a song with a Samar John and Kofi Kinata. Right. Big song. Yeah, the highlight. In fact, my favorite highlight. He wanted highlight song of no. the year and they gave it to somebody else. So he said, I'm going to say, I won't need a media. Oh, that and was so original. Be then he said, I should freestyle on it too. Let's all this chatter house. Ah. So I'm looking at this person who's singing and he's not writing. I said, okay, me too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll add three to it. Yeah. Okay. We were just having fun. Okay. That's why I started. And if you listen well, my verse starts with some funny tree. Some oh, tree. Funny. Well, well, yeah. yeah. I thought uh, my tree no good. Oh, <laughs> and Castro, people were laughing at him. Uh, Castro too didn't tell me the correct tree. Okay. Because I thought we were just doing a freestyle. Okay. This guy goes home. Just goofing on it. Yeah, he goes home. And then he calls the next day and says, I go come out of the chatter house, my tough friends, so something else for there. And that's my next single. I said, how? I thought he was joking. Like joke joke. On his birthday, he brought promo CDs. Say ho. Castro featuring the Black. He said this is a song I'm gonna release. And he released it on his birthday. And, and it became the biggest song. The freestyle that he did. Point life is 30. Yep. Yep. So I don't know what you think about this particular conversation, but let me hear from you. Well, is it that surprising or isn't it surprising that a song that is arguably one of the biggest songs in the country happened or was supposed to be a diss song to Chatterhouse. I mean, during the year under review, that song that he was talking about, well, it was with um, Castro, Kofi Kenata, and Asamwaja. Hey, my son, so my son saying, I'm a hoon, I'm a it was a huge song, a very big song. But then, unfortunately, it couldn't win the highlight song of the year and Castro Vex. And decided, according to D Black, decided to do a this to Chatter House. Now, let me hear from you. What do you think would have happened if Castro had released that particular song in that manner? Would it have become popular? Or it would have been shut down just like any other person has released a diss track for one person or an institution? Let me hear from you. Until then, my name is Roland Amati. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with other people. We will meet on the next episode. Peace. Stay safe. Yeah, my dad, job hot. Assembly Hey! Aye! Hey!